Hello all, my name is Keo. In this tutorial, we will model texture and light and interior in 3ds Max using a V-Ray. So let's get started. So very first of all, we'll take a reference over here. We'll go into this rendering, view image file, and we'll take a reference. So this is our reference of an interior so we are going to model it, texture and light it in Autodesk 3ds Max. So very first of all we will take a plane over here. So draw plane so go to the top view into this top view go into this AEC extended and let's take a wall so we can create a wall right from the top view so come out of this so as we can uh, set a view from here so we'll go into this rendering render setup and go into this common we can set the size into this output size, make it HD. Okay. So we'll set up a view over here. Very first of all, we'll set up a rough view so we can just model it. So we are going to set a view over here like this. So after setting up a view, after setting up a view so you can press ctrl and C to place a camera from that particular view so let's note down the shortcut over here ctrl plus C to place a camera from the view so after that if you press P you can get into the perspective view back so press P so you can get into the perspective view so you can see you are in the camera view after pressing P you are into the perspective view so this is your perspective view your front view the top view and your left view that is your side view so let's take a reference okay so we'll just model it So we'll go into this perspective view and let's start creating this props. So for this bottom surface, we'll take a box over here. So go into the standard parameters, go into the stop view and create a box. So on this auto grid option and create a big box over here. Can increase the size of it and increase the height a bit right click on it convert to editable poly so we can use some swift loop over here to add some loops you can add some loops from the front view you can add some loops over here like this same loops we can easily add it over here also so you can click over here so we need two loops two more loops okay Now select this. So, if you want to add one more box on top of it, you can add or you can give a bit of uh, bevel option over here. You can add a bevel option over here. So, click over here. 
okay so right click bevel and into this bevel option we have an option called local normal you can go into this local normal option and you can reduce it you can switch this okay and you can push it a bit down click okay so that's it so go to the top view again you can go on to this top view you can take again a box and you can increase the size of the box and you can keep on top of it okay so if you're deciding to uh, extrude it so right click on it convert to editable poly so you can just switch this till here So you can add uh, two more loops over here. One loop over here also. So you can extrude it over here. Click over here and bevel it by local normal. So you can push it inside and click ok so let's see go into this camera view and you can see the changes made over here right ok so you can again go back we can change the color over here Okay, so we'll continue the next part, uh, the next into the second part. Till then, thank you.